Well, breath control and increased oxygen intake are just two of the many benefits of vocal toning, but they're worth spending some time on. So we all know that words can be very powerful and impact a person's state of mind like nothing else. If you just think of the times when you became angry or hurt after hearing someone say a certain string of words, it's because those words carried a meaning that challenged you. Well, Hazrat Iniyat Khan, a Sufi master, teaches that while we all recognize the power of words, we don't realize that it's the force behind the words or our breath that contains a much greater power. He calls it the expression of all mystery. What we perceive as breath, the air in and out through the nose, is not the breath. It's merely the effect of our breathing. The air itself is perceptible and our body can perceive something happening as we're breathing, but what we can't perceive is what's causing us to breathe. That current of the breath is the soul and it runs much deeper than the perceptible breath. It's our connection to spirit and that's where the word inspiration comes from. So there are three potencies of the breath. There's the breath as it flows through the nose, in and out, and then there's the breath as it flows through the mouth, which has a further reach into the material world. And wh what I mean by that is if you imagined blowing out candles on a cake, you wouldn't want to try to do that breathing out through your nose. It wouldn't have enough strength. So we blow through the mouth when we have more power in doing that. But there's a third breath, and that carries even more uh, power and potential. And this can be a whistle or a tone, it can be a song or even speaking. But this third breath, the breath that carries sound, is called vitalized breath. And this is the most powerful of the three with the furthest reach. And it's even more uh, impactful than touch, even though touch is a very solid thing. So toning is really a practice of vitalized breath. And obviously you can't tone unless you have the breath with which to do that. And you can't tone well unless you have the ability to control the breath. So a lot of the practices in toning do center around breathing. Your control is going to be proportionate to the duration, the power, and the quality of your tones. So toning is a great practice for improving the quality of the voice, and it's also great for helping people find their equilibrium and their power with breathing.